happy spring. All right, since we last talked about spring, I did something different. So we have our little greenhouse of plants, but my plants that were inside the greenhouse were growing way better than my plants that were outside the greenhouse. So let's think about what four things do plants need to grow so we can figure out why. Hmm, let's see. Plants need, what's this stuff? Soil, you're right, so plants need soil. They need something up in the sky that shines on them. Sun, correct. They need what's all around us. Air, excellent. And they need one more thing. That last thing is what we pour on them or what rains on them. Water, excellent. So soil, sun, air, and water. Now when our plants are inside the greenhouse, look what happens to the cover. So when I pour water on them, the water evaporates, it collects inside the cover, and then it can rain back down on them. So they stay, they stay wet better than they do outside the greenhouse. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is it's warmer in there. Plants like to grow outside in the summer because it's nice and warm. Has it been warm outside lately? Mm, not so much. Today it's beautiful. Other days it's been chilly lately. So my plants, even by the window, haven't been as warm as they would like to be. So what I did is I took my plants out of the greenhouse and here they are. And they are growing beautifully. These are going to be flowers. They're going to be flowers called zinnias. And then I put my plants that weren't growing in the greenhouse. Let's check and see if they're growing now. Woo, some of them have really taken off. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what kinds of plants we have growing. Now, let's see. So we have some kohlrabi growing. That's a vegetable. Um, let's see what this is, nasturtium. This is a flower that you can eat. I learned about it from Miss Kari because she is amazing. Let's see. We have some cilantro, some dill, what else, zucchini, kale, ooh, jack-o'-lantern. So this is going to be a pumpkin plant, a little pumpkin. So these are gonna grow the little tiny pumpkins. Butternut squash. We have all different kinds, lettuce, all different kinds of plants growing in here. I noticed one little problem though, if you look really closely, there's some white fuzzy stuff growing on the soil on some of these plants. Do you know what that is? That's actually mold, boys and girls. I have a little bit of mold in there. So I'm thinking when I have this cool plastic cover that keeps them nice and moist, I probably should put a couple holes in it because they're not getting enough air. Without enough air, we get a little mold growing and that isn't gonna be good for our plants. So before next time, I will carefully do that. Now let's head outside and see what signs of spring we can find outside. Let's go. Oh, and on the way, check out our lettuce. We have all these lettuce plants growing down here. Why would I want to grow so much lettuce? Because I have six people in my house who eat salad every day. It's a lot of lettuce. Here we go. here. Now notice how much bigger my daylily plants are today than they were before. And last week these weren't even growing at all. And now you can see they're a few inches. Those are going to be peonies. Some people call them peonies. Either way, they're going to be beautiful. Great big flowers. Let's go this way. Let's stop at the tree. Now our buds haven't opened yet probably because it's been so cold outside, but they are going to open soon. And when they do, we'll finally have leaves on our trees. If you turn around, you're gonna see Molly and Fat Mom. <laughs> Hi, Fat Mom. Molly put her down so you didn't get to see her. All right, let's head to the flower garden. This is an exciting day. Because look, my first flowers are up. Remember last time where they were starting to grow, but they weren't all the way up? Now you can see that these are growing. Those are called hyacinth and they're beautiful and they smell so wonderful. I wish I could share it with you. Okay, so 
but I hope you can see my bird house. That's a bluebird house and we have two bluebirds in there with a nest and as long as my cats leave them alone we should have baby bluebirds soon. So let's head over this way. As we're walking I bet you notice how green the grass is. So much greener than last week. And here's our lilac bush. You'll see that the buds are getting much closer to opening and some of them are partially open right there. They're starting to open. So we'll see. Hopefully the next time we have our spring video, those buds will be completely open. You can see that some of these branches on here or sticks have nothing growing on them. So this part is dead. This part does not have life in it anymore or it would have buds on it. So when you see plants that are growing buds, you know that they're alive. And when you see parts of them that are not, they're probably dead. That happens sometimes. We're gonna make one more stop at our vegetable garden. Come on over. Ooh, another sign of spring. If you look way across the road, I hope you can see the tractor. The farmers are in the fields, they are working because it is spring. The farmers don't work in the fields in the winter. And here we go. This plant wasn't here before. In the winter, it's dead. But the roots were still alive and so it's growing again, these leaves. This is called a rhubarb plant. And if you look carefully, I'll pick one. It grows this part right here which you can cut up and cook and eat. You'll want to put sugar on it though because it's a it's like not a little bit sour, it's really sour like it makes your mouth do this unless you put sugar on it. But it's delicious and you don't eat the leaves. All right, let's check one last thing. Come this way. These are blueberry bushes. And when you look at them, you can see this part is turning green, which means this part is alive. So it's coming back to life, it's growing new shoots, it's getting buds, and it's going to grow leaves, and I hope it grows blueberries because that's the idea of a blueberry bush. All right, that's it for today. I hope that you are looking for signs of spring and I hope you're finding them. Look, remember, if you go for a walk, look on your walk. If you're looking out your window, look for signs of spring. If you're going for a drive, tell your grown-up all the signs of spring that you're seeing. See you next time.